Yo, it's your boy, Titus Showers, and you are watching Gospel Goodies TV. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. This is Gospel Goodies. Titus, how are you? Yes, I'm well. I'm great. No complaints, just, just happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. as you should. <laughs> Absolutely. I know. Uh, yeah, last time we talked, I guess it was about a year now when you released the album. Who? Right. It's been we going on since. Then. You hosted. You hosted my um, party at the BMI in New York City. Um, what a blessing at the World Trade Center. God bless you. Um, just been working ever since then, and things have been happening. Um, the album did great on the charts for initial debut artists. Um, my single In His Name was great. Um, it did well on the radio. And my new single is going to be all right. As you guys know, if, if you haven't heard, um, it's number one. It was number one last week on the gospel. Um, I played charts and God has truly been a blessing to me. And I'm thankful for the feature of Jermaine and thankful for the work of my producers and my independent label, AP Records. Um, God has just been great to me, and I've been just running and traveling and enjoying this journey that the Lord have me on. Awesome! And you actually released that remix during the uh, during the pandemic. How have you been holding up since the pandemic? Well, definitely been holding up well. Um, um, my family ha uh, has remained COVID free. We've been following the procedures of um, CDC guidelines. We've been practicing our social distancing. We've been working out, doing um, everything that we can do on our end to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Uh, we've been doing virtual services. I've been doing virtual concerts. I've been definitely um, doing what I'm supposed to do, loving on my family, all of the more, um, taking care of my parents, my children, and just, man, having a lot of family activities where we definitely um, been doing what we're supposed to do and not what we want to do because all of us want to get out and do our own thing, but we know that we need to um, prevent the spread of things and make sure we follow the CDC guidelines. And that's all I've been doing and trying to make sure I continue to write, continue to stay busy. I've been in the studio working on new music. Um, it's been a blessing. And um, hey, I can't sleep now. God has something in store for the people. Nice, nice. Yeah. So how is it? Um, how are you overcoming that though? Like, like mentally, emotionally, like, cause you know, it's, it's a lot going on and what's going on right now. So you have to be in a place mentally to be able to do or to continue what you're doing as far as producing records, as far as, you know, number one record. Like, are you, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's big, man. Man, bless you, man. Definitely. I'm in a, I'm a great place mentally. Um, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do before I turn on social media is get in my word. And um, the Lord has been dealing with me. He's been giving me things to say in the midst of all that is going on, not only the pandemic, but also the social injustices that's been going on in the world. God has been speaking to me and I've um, been giving me things to say that the people can be encouraged by because everything that the Lord give me, I want to encourage somebody else. Um, if the people are not encouraged, then the things are not going to go well. So definitely the Lord have been speaking to me. So I, I definitely turn him on first and everything else fall in line. And I must um, admit that um, my brother and I has this have this um, counseling agency where we provide assistance to kids from the ages of 5 to 24. And um, we have like 40 employees that are social workers, that are um, psychology, you know, major people who definitely go out and see these children in the midst of the pandemic who have been dealing with mental illnesses, ADHD, um, you know, distress and abuse and all of that stuff that has been going on. So I've definitely been preparing myself mentally because I'm the owner of a business who definitely have to make sure that my mental state is on par so I can be a blessing to these kids, which we are trying to help and um, definitely be a blessing to my employees as well. So that's that's what I've been doing, man, in the midst of it all. That's good. That's good. So you said you said um, the Lord has been giving you a word to give. Absolutely. If we could just insert a little bit right now, so we, you know, what I'm saying, and we can get this interview out, the word out. Like, what is the word for this season? 
um, We Need You. Um, that's a great record that um, the Lord gave me. I didn't want to write something that was seasonal. I wanted to write something that was um, resonate with the people of God throughout um, the lifetime. Um, because every day, each one of us need the Lord. Um, and in order for us to need, we need to call on him. And we know that he's there. Um, reason, the reason why we don't get a lot of our blessings is because we don't have any patience. But if we will learn how to wait on him and seek his face, he will come through just when we need him to come through. And um, so this great record that the Lord gave me is entitled, We Need You. And, um, and uh, man, he's been speaking to me. This new music is going to bless the people of God. Man, I promise you, I cannot wait for you guys to hear it. Uh, my God, but we focus it on it's going to be all right now. And um, I was able to release this at such a time as this to encourage the people to give them something to dance to in the midst of all that is going on. And um, I'm just excited, man, about what the Lord is doing for little old me. And um, I'm just excited, man. As you can see, man, the smile hasn't come off my face. I think I go to sleep like this, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. You should be happy. Um, number one record, Jermaine Dolly. Like you two linked up, and you brought him on this record. It's crazy. So I'm gonna I'm I'm ask you a question that's way left. Okay. But I, I believe that you you got enough oil on you that you can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> let's see let, let's see okay so there's you there's Jermaine Dolly if God was to ask you and give you a chance to do a male group with two more artists in the industry to bring that thing full circle like the new commission the new whinings who wow. would it be so you're giving me Dolly already okay um, I would say Zacardi Cortez Woo! I would Oh man, that's my right. guy, man. I think he's so amazing. Vocal ability is outrageous. And I, I would say Dion Kippen because his writing ability, um, oh my God, that's my yeah. brother. And um, I love Travis Green and um, I love his anointing. So that's that's five of us. I think um, that'll be a great group right there, man. And I have so many more that I can name, but give me those guys. We, we can Let's do put it. that together. <laughs> that would be what? Yeah, man. Yeah, I like you thought about that one. That was good, right off the top. <laughs> those are my yeah, guys, yeah. and those are those guys' fellowship. Um, they are genuinely in their fellowship because I have even other guys like Ernest Pugh reach out, James Fortune, and and guys who congratulated me, Gene Moore, man, all of these guys who see the work and definitely um not a, not ashamed to use their platform to represent little Titus showers from Hammond, Louisiana, man. I'm just ecstatic and just thankful for that relationship that God has allowed me to form with these great guys. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, listen, you got to let me audition one day. Mm, 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 mm. You got not it, now. man. Just tell not, me what's up. Not yeah. now. I want to audition for the group. Let me audition. <laughs> I want to say, Lamont is playing. Lamont can sing. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Hey, come stop. on, man. Stop. Yes, I ain't getting more record yet. Wait a second. I got to put, I gotta put, hey, I gotta put paint on me. Wait my a second. girl. If she said you can do it, hey, I know you can do it. Can I put, can I put that both on the spot right now? Let's go. Let's so go. So you know. You got. All right. So when, uh, when you go, he loves me, I can't sing. So, like, you do that. And then, Lamont, you come in. Like, you follow it up like Dolly did. Can, can Gospel Goodies listeners just get that real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, tell me what I can do. He Woo. loved me. Oh, what? yes, he loved me. Oh, 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 he loved me. Oh, he loved me. Did you hear the R&B in it? So why? Come on, man. I was so salty. Listen, Come on, I'm I, I, I want to fit in, man. How can I fit in? <laughs> man, you were in. Bless you. Add Lamont to the group. Let's go get oh, it. Oh, I made the group. I made the group. I made the group. <laughs> Let's get it, Gospel Goodies. Mark is in the group breaking um, news. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was awesome, guys. <laughs> Bless you, man. Bless but, um, you. Man. So, thank you guys for that. 
that just made my day. Um, but you mentioned growing up, or not growing up, but being from Louisiana, you see you repping LSU right now. Uh, what's your ties to the, the school and how you rep? Man, um, I've been a fan since 1998. I had this um, um, high school um, classmate of mine being recruited by LSU. He went to LSU and I went to Southeastern Louisiana University. So shout out to Southeastern, but I fell in love with LSU sports because they was always on TV and my guy was there and, and Gary Donato at the time would come and eat lunch with me and my friend Kavoris Thompson and um and my guy Fred Booker went to LSU and that's that's my ties right there. And I have some church members that are playing for um LSU Tigers right now and I invest in season tickets to go check out my Tigers. I'm a big LSU guy more than I am a Saints fan because wow. I used to be a Saints fan back when I was a kid, when they had the paper bags and nobody was a fan, but at the Katrina, um, the bandwagon of all of these fans just got over overloaded and I jumped off the wagon, man. <laughs> and so, man, I still root for them and look, um, you know, I, I definitely take my time out and watch them, but um, I'm a LSU guy more than I am a Saints fan. That's what's up. Yeah. All right, and then you know it's a uh, fall season right now, um, mm -hmm. so we want to know what you stand over. So for me, we were just talking about this on the show last week. Um, I'm all here for the the pumpkin spice, the Halloween movies, the Christmas music. What's your what's your like uh, what's your holiday or fall or winter thing? Um, I'm definitely not into all that pumpkin stuff, man, because. Um, my mother lives down the street from a pumpkin patch, and the traffic kills me at this time of the year. Um, it's just a big, it just be a big crowd of people, and it causes a big, um, big gathering of traffic, and I, I, it really bothers me. But I love the weather. Whenever we do get the fall weather, um, some days it'll be in that seventy all day, and I love it. That's why I have my fleece on. Well, I like to wear fleece sleeves just to make sure I don't I stay away from all colds. I can be sweating or whatever, but I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just like to protect myself from um because I gotta make sure I'm ready to go to work whenever um the Lord say let's go. And um so um I love the fall season. I'm a Thanksgiving guy, Christmas guy, you know of course, well that's kind of more winter. But um fall season you can keep the um pumpkin patch away from me and give me more of the Thanksgiving fall weather and I'm um, definitely look forward to the Christmas time as well. Family, much love. Nice, nice. Uh, any Christmas single we dropping? Absolutely, man. I'm glad you asked. I finished this great oh, yeah. um, Have Yourself Up, Merry Little Christmas. Mm. And Von, Von Phoenix produced it, man. And you can, you guys stay tuned. Um, there's going to be a big press release. I really wanted to release the date on Gospel Goodies, but I don't have the date because of the record label is going to make sure they give out the date. But you guys have heard it at first. There's a Christmas single coming out just to keep things afloat until the top of the year when the new music get ready to come out. Nice. We're looking forward to it. Yes, indeed. Me too. For sure. Um, so where can people follow you? What'd you say? I said we got to get it so we can put, play it on radio Sunday. Absolutely. No doubt, man. And oh, definitely sure. it's going to be that flavor. It's that feel-good flavor, man. It's going to bless your spirit. Oh, we know how you cook it up. We know how you cook it up. <laughs> bless you, man. Well, um, it's your boy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so look, man, you definitely can follow me. I think that was the question you asked, A. Hey, um, well, you can follow me. I'm on all social media platforms. I am Titus Showers on Twitter and Instagram. I am Titus Showers. And my fan page on Facebook is available for your likeness of the page, Titus Showers. And definitely you can see my contact of how to get in touch with my manager if you need me to do virtual or I fly now, you know, um, Definitely making sure I practice my distancing. And um, so if you guys need me and you, um, and your state is opened up, you can see how to contact me and make sure you go stream my music on all digital outlets. It's, it's available there for you. Just type in my name, Titus Showers. Nice. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. It was great talking to you. It's great talking to you too, my girl. Bless you. And thank you so much for the listening party hosting that you did for me back in last year. 
over at the World Trade Center in New York City. Man, oh, what a feeling. Thank you so much for hosting me.